All right, so what are we talking about in this video? Well, you're looking directly at it. That is your stock Harley-Davidson shift linkage for many, many years, even current models. It really hasn't changed and it is definitely a failure point. And we can tell you from personal experience, we've actually had these go bad uh, right in the middle of long distance trips. So number one, you should change it so that it doesn't happen. But if it does fail, uh, our trip was not delayed and we didn't have to call for a tow truck. And the reason is, is we all carry our beloved Cruise Tools RTH3 roll-up travel tool kits in our saddlebags. And so I'm not gonna go over this in detail. I also have one of our Cruise Tools multi-tools in here. We've done videos on it in the past, but it comes with everything you need, especially for a Harley-Davidson motorcycle, the RTH3. And uh, in it comes some zip ties, a little bit of tape, some bailing wire, and that is how you can fix that shift linkage, at least so you can shift so you can get back to town and well, get something beefier and we're gonna show you what that is in this video. And everything I talk about in this video, including this toolkit, links in the description below. You can get it directly from the Law Abiding Biker store. We definitely appreciate your support and shopping in our store. It allows us to continue to make videos like this and help as many bikers as we can worldwide. And don't worry, you metric guys or you Indian guys, we also have a kit right in our store. I'll link to that in the description too. Uh, but it's the same sort of roll up toolkit. Uh, for your Indian or other metric motorcycle. So you may have seen videos in the past on this channel where we've covered in depth your shifter shaft arm and of course linkage, but this is a refresh video because some things have changed. All right, and going back down to the linkage here, the reason these bad boys fail, the stock ones, this is aftermarket, which I'm gonna tell you about here in a minute, but it's a pressed ball joint and socket. And it's kind of pop metal it's made of and you're definitely gonna fail there up front or fail back here in that ball type joint. And this isn't gonna be a complete install video. Reason is we've done that and it's on this channel. I'm gonna pop a card on the screen and link to it in the description below. We're gonna show you in detail the stock one and you'll definitely wanna watch that video in addition to this one because it'll show you why those fail and we'll talk about the different joints a little bit. It also shows you in that video on how to install our recommended new beefier linkage, which again, we're gonna talk about in this video. All right, so one other failure point down here isn't just the shifter linkage. And we've done a video on this too in the past. It got a ton of views because a lot of guys are having problems down here. Again, spanning like 20 years here, guys, and the current models, and that's your shifter shaft arm. It gets loose and the gears can strip a little bit in there. And that actually happened to me on a long distance trip. And uh, again, we're able to make do, but this one, if it breaks, you're gonna pretty much be trying to shift with your hand until <laughs> you get back uh, to somewhere where you can get one. Anyways, there is a replacement one OEM from Harley, and there's a way to check it to make sure if yours is starting to go bad and catch it before you get stranded. Anyways, we did do that detailed video. I will pop a card to that video and also link to it in the description below. Again, that's all about your shifter shaft arm. The reason I'm bringing that up is if you're gonna do your linkage right now, which we highly recommend, like it's the number one thing I can recommend before going long distance, is you're already gonna have it off, so it makes it, it's part of the process, is what I'm trying to say, to change your shifter shaft arm at the same time. All right, and this channel literally is just a community of bikers helping bikers. I'd love to read your comments. So if you've had a linkage failure, leave a comment in the description below. I look forward to reading them. All right, so now I wanna transition into showing you the linkage that we recommend you replace your OEM linkage with. We do carry them right in the Law Abiding Biker store and I'll link to all of them in the description below. The reason we recommend it is we've tried and tested them over many years and we're really happy with them. And that's why they're actually in our store. And I do appreciate you shopping in the Law Abiding Biker store. We're not some big conglomerate. We literally are just bikers out there living the biker lifestyle, riding as much as we can. And we're trying to help as many bikers as we can worldwide. All right, so in front of me is the actual linkage that we're selling and we recommend. And this is a Kiri Aachen shift linkage. Now, this particular one, if you're a chrome guy, oh yeah, look at that beautiful chrome model. 
But of course, for all you guys that are rocking the black bikes, all murdered out, so to speak, this is of course your solid black one. And then the last one that we're offering, um, I really like this one, it's pretty slick. So if you have a black bike, this is our black with raw aluminum. And you can see this is actually cut out um, of here and just gives adds a little style you can see up here on these two. So that's our third option. Now, these linkages are good 1980 to current touring models. So easy fitment there. Then we've got 1986 to current Softail models. There are a few that aren't covered. So when you're over at our store, you'll definitely wanna make sure you check your fitment before you order. And then last, 2009 to current trike models. All right, and if you can do me a quick favor before you leave the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell icon. Every time those are hit, another biker joins a revolution. We'd love to have you be part of it. Also hit that thumbs up. It helps the video get recommended to other viewers so they can change their linkage too and not have a failure and be stranded. All right, so all three of these models are exactly the same, of course, other than their finish. Let me tell you, when you get one of these in your hand and you hold your stock one next to it, you'll realize why your stock one is failing and how cheap it is made. These are just a lot thicker, a lot beefier, a lot better metal. And your stock one is a pressed ball and socket. And so what happens with your stock one is the socket actually wears out and it falls out and it won't stay in. And that's because it's cheap metal and just the way it's made. And it has no give really, uh, compares to this one, which uh, has heim joints in it. And so I'm turning it around there and you can see that heim joint in there and just working that because that's where it goes onto your arms. And so you get play and give and along with this being so beefy, that's why these just don't fail. All right, so this information I wanted to tell you is important. Unfortunately, however much we love these, at the time of this video, we're not sure how much longer we're gonna have access to these. And so let me give you a little history. Kiriakin used to be its own company. Well, Tucker Rocky, which we were a reseller for, they're a large distributor, went out of business in late 2023 and they had bought the Kiriakin brand. Turn 14, which is another large distributor, we're also a reseller for them, bought the Kiriakin name, and so they are now in charge of Kiriakin. And so with that said, a lot of things are still up in the air and confusing on exactly which products Turn 14 is gonna keep in the Kiriakin lineup. And I will tell you that we literally are probably one of the only ones that has these in stock. We bought them out of these. Uh, and we don't know if they're coming back. And if they do come back, maybe they'll be a little bit different or maybe under a different part number. But at this time, we literally bought them out and we are the ones that have them. And the reason we bought them out is because we love them and we've used them for so many years and we can recommend them. Now, I will just tell you that of course, if for some reason um, these don't get continued, we're really gonna try hard to find something to replace it and test it. Uh, before we bring it to our store and then start recommending that one. And so like I said up front, there's no better time than to get your hands on one of these. Just get this issue fixed now before it becomes a problem and before these run out of stock. And so we know these are gonna move really fast off our shelf because like I say, we're one of the only people that has any left and we have the bulk of them. But we wanna you know, give those that watch the video and act first a coupon code to get an additional 10% off of it. Uh, so if you're one of the first hundred after watching this video and you hit the links in the description below and you get over to the store and order yours, well, if you use this code right here, it's failure, F-A-I-L-U-R-E. Not because you're a failure, but because the stock ones of these are a failure. Type that in, you're gonna get 10% off and of course you're gonna get free shipping. Oh, and while you're over at the store, you'll definitely wanna also pick up one of these. And that is one of our great law-abiding biker media hoodies. We've had them in black for a long time. A lot of you asked for gray. So as of the time of this video, we do have them in stock in gray. So make sure you pick one of those up and join the biker revolution.